everyone today i'm gonna be doing another haul <laughs> um this haul everything was 10 bucks and how i came about this is i was watching youtube videos as usual and i saw a couple videos of people who will go to like goodwill and stuff like that and they will find all these really good finds on art supplies and stuff and I did go to a couple Goodwills and thrift stores, but I didn't see any art supplies at all, so I just gave up on that. Um, then I got the idea, why don't I look on Craigslist? And I never go on Craigslist, so it was kind of weird that, that popped in my mind. But I did search, and I found someone who was selling um, like a bin full of art supplies. And this, these were the main things that were shown and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I couldn't really tell what it was, but just the name Derwin alone, the brand, I know is a pretty good brand or whatever. So I was like, I'm going to get that. I want to, I was interested in it. I said, let me pay 10 bucks. That's a good deal. So that's what I did. I went and I got it. Um, and I got a whole bunch of really good finds and I'm going to share those with you guys. So the first thing are these Derwin 12 graphic designer. I, I want to say they're pencils. Yeah, pencils. I don't think they're charcoal. And they haven't really been used. Like, they're in really good condition. Pretty long. So they go, they range from um H to B. H, B to 6, B. All right, so we got that. Then are these 24 studio pencils. Derwin again. Nice tin. And these have been fairly used, but whatever. I'll probably let my kids play with these. <laughs> my daughter's next to me. She's getting all excited. Now, what really made this a good steal, like, I just really can't believe that they gave away all this stuff for 10 bucks. This huge bin, and there's actually two of these. So, and I'm kind of, I did glance through these. Sorry, I'm trying to get this open. I did glance through these, but I haven't really, like, fully looked through them. So, let's look through them together. Sorry guys, it's like cramped right here. I don't want to hit my stand. Okay, there we go. So, this compartment has nothing. And these bins alone, man, they're nice. So let's go through this stuff. We got some Stantler HB.5 lead. And there it looks like there's actually some color lead in there. Yeah. There's some red lead in there. That's cool. Just a few in there. Another one. This is cool. An eraser stick. These need lead. These are nice. Looks like drafting pencils. What's this? So this is actually the leads for these. Yeah, I think so. Two millimeters. I don't know. Sorry about that, guys. Got cut off there. These are like empty though. This one has something. There goes a the lead. Faber Castell, 12 leads in this one. Two milliliters. Look at all those. That's so cool. So got my money's worth. I'm so excited that I got all these goodies.
Here goes another mechanical pencil. This looks like a nice one. Stanler. Stetler. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. But yeah. This one has lead in it already. It's a nice one. See, this one priced by itself is $4.45. This looks like a Blick. A Blick tag. These are really nice pencils. Then here, a brand new kneaded eraser. I love these. This compartment. A ton of pencils. I want to say these are graphite pencils. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a white one that's right here. Maybe it's just a color pencil. I don't know. But this is a Derwent drawing pencil, Chinese white. And they use the shit out of these. And these, this terracotta color. This is a different brand one. What is this? Car Othello. Schwann, Germany. Cool. Another Derwent and chocolate. Another one. These are so... This is just the Belo. Oh, cool. That's a pretty color, like a gray. Brown ochre. So these all go together. Terracotta. Venetian red. So these are the Stabilo ones. Sorry guys, I'm like kind of organizing at the same time. Oh, cool, you could adjust these. I'm just gonna leave it in there. Okay, the next compartment. This thing is packed to the top with color pencils. I want to say these are prism colors. Say very thin. What's this Sanford? I don't know. But yeah, some of these are brand new. Haven't even been used or sharpened. What's that? Some Prismacolors, Crayola. Mm. Give that to my daughter. Crayola. Some Veritins. I love these this kind of colors to sketch with. Prismacolor. There's a charcoal pencil. Let's set that one to the side. Prism color. Crayola. Prism color. Very thin. Very thin. Prism color. Such a pretty color. Warm gray. Can you guys see that? Crayola. 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 So this guy, he, um, I guess he worked for architecture, some kind of architecture thing. And he was saying that they don't, they're getting rid of the stuff because everything is done on computers now. But I'm so happy that I went and I got it because I was really skeptical. I'm like, I don't know about that. Um. I don't know about meeting up with someone from, um, God, I just lost my train of thought. Craigslist. These are nice. These are like barely used. I don't want the Crayolas. Barrel very thin. A lot of these are just brand new. That's a pretty color. Deco pink. 
Sorry. All right, so that's that one. And then there's another compartment. Let me turn this this way, guys, so you can see. There's a shitload of pencils. Let me get these out the way. Here. Put those in your room. These have been used like down. They're so cute though. So you see there's like H and B's. This is a shitload of pencils. These turquoise. Prism color ones. Oh, and there's some charcoal. Are these charcoal? What is this? Graphics. I think these are the same ones that were in that tin. These look nice. But yeah, shit, little pencils. I'm not going to go through all those. And that's it for this bin. These compartments are empty. I could throw stuff in here. Can you move this? Put it in there. So this next bin made me the happiest. Damn, I can't even open that. Oh, sorry. So there was are still these charcoal sticks in there. Hold on, I gotta open that. Shit, these things hurt your hand. Look at that. Sorry, guys. I'm struggling trying to open these damn cases. There we go. Man, this case alone really showed me that I got my money's worth. I'm so pleased and happy with this. This stuff is got some really good stuff in here. So in this first one, there's these Stadler, Stadler carrot. These look like watercolor. I'm assuming they're watercolor pencils. So there's a few in there, not many. Now this here. We got these Tombow markers. I love those. Now this here showed me I got my money's worth. Me personally, I always use cheapy brushes because I always leave them in water and they get jacked up. As you saw in my other video where my bamboo a brush cracked on me the wood which i have to stop doing that guys don't do that to your brushes take care of your brushes but these are a ton of expensive um paint brushes this one right here is a windsor and newton and you see it's got this chiseled in that's a um it's a pretty big one i can't really see the number anymore I want to say that's a size 10 flat brush. This one, I'm assuming, is for watercolor. Which I need some good watercolor brushes. And this looks like an acrylic one because it's so long. Pro Art, size 9. These are long as long as shit. Look at that. These got to be for acrylics because they're so long. This is a nice one. This one is from... Princeton Art and Brush Co. Size 4 flat. Another size 1 Pro Art. This one's like breaking. And it's like. Can you see that? It's like tore there. Whatever. This is the. Really nice one, a Windsor and Newton series six size six fluffy brush. Um, I'm assuming like this would be used for um, watercolor washes. Then in this compartment is another handful of really good brushes. This little tiny Wins 
um, Princeton Art & Co. Uh, angular shader. Size 12, I don't know. Cute. Another mop brush, size 4, ones are in Newton. So I know I got my money's worth. $10 for all this stuff. Like these brushes alone. I don't know what they retail, retail exactly. But I know they're probably like $10, $20, $30 brushes. This one right here is a size 2 sable brush. This one looks brand new. Sapphire Robert Simmons. Size 8 flat brush. Still got the cover. A prank. What's this one? I don't know. But yeah, these are good little watercolor brushes. I don't know why these are like this. They're like cut off. They got cut or something. Ones are new in. It's a nice taper one for fine lines. So my favorite part of these are these watercolors. These alone, I know I got my money's worth. I know I keep saying that, but guys, I got all this stuff for 10 bucks. Like, this is really good supplies. This one is a Windsor & Newton Artist watercolor in lamp black. And this is a fat, too. It's a 14 milliliter. Let's see if there's another one. Yeah. Prussian blue. Put those together. Raw umber. And here's another compartment. I'm just kind of putting them together so I can separate them. This is another Windsor & Newton um, yellow ochre. And these are artist grade watercolors. They're not the... Um, and it shows its light fastness. They're not the student grade. Cotman. I believe these are like student grade watercolors from what I hear. The Windsor & Newton Cotman are the student grade. So here's an 8 milliliter in Chinese white. And they're still fairly soft, so I know they're usable. Burnt Umber. Yellow ochre, this one's barely anything. Grumbacher, I think is how you pronounce this. These are really expensive watercolors. This is their Academy, their Academy series. That's a pretty color, does it say the color? Thalo yellow green. Sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. This one is another Grumbacher. This one is like full, almost Viridian hue. Cerulean blue. Thalo blue. Cadmium red, pale hue. Burnt sienna. And here's a cute little one. This is an artist grade one. But this one is five milliliter. Academy in red deep. Academy in yellow deep. And then on these other two compartments are these golden fluid acrylics. This one's pretty full. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. A blue color. Nickel Azo Yellow. This one seems a little dried out. This one's good. Guanacridone Gold. It's like a reddish brown, I guess. This one's kind of dried out. A green gold. And then I got this. And guys, I don't know what this is. If anyone watches this video knows what this is. Can you let me know? Looks like some kind of wax brick. I don't know. It's wrapped in this plastic. It's got like this dent here. So if anyone knows what this is, comment below. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to figure that out. Next thing is this watercolor palette. Or this paint palette, I should say. It's got all these wells. Plastic. Then 
Then I got this brush thing to like, my desk. excuse my desk because I was stained up from paint and stuff. But um, like when you erase and you get those little crap on there, you know, little erase bits. You can use this to wipe it off. A ton of rulers. Two circle templates. That'll come in handy. Some more rulers. A bunch of triangle rulers. Triangle. A huge triangle one. You put them in. And then last are these rub-on letters, which I don't know how to work this. Easy to use rub-on letters and numbers for office school. Sorry about that, guys. For office school and home use. So, yeah, I guess you just rub them on. Some more transfer lettering. These are white. The other ones were black. Another one, double of that. And another one of that, but with black letters. So yeah, that concludes my haul. Hope you guys liked it. 10 bucks. I can't believe I got that steal. I think I got a good deal. So comment below if you have any questions. If anyone knows what that wax thing is, please let me know. All right, guys, have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.